Hi, welcome to the Clever Fox YouTube channel. Today we are going to be talking about how to start a cash envelope system for budgeting. I am going to be sharing with you Clever Fox envelopes, cash envelopes, and budget sheets and sharing how starting a cash envelope system for budgeting can help you reach your financial goals and make sure that you are on track with your spending and spending your money the way that you want to. So sit back and enjoy, make sure that you watch the video until the end. And if you are not already subscribed to our channel, make sure that you subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any future videos. So why start a cash envelope system? It's been proven that when you use cash to spend, you may do it in a slower pace than you would have by using a credit card or debit card. It takes more energy to spend cash and you're actually handing something over that is tangible, seeing how many dollars are being handed over versus swiping a card. So how to get started. Okay, we have three different sets of a cash envelope budget system for you to choose from. The first set is the assorted colors set where each of the envelopes are a different color. Next up is the jazzy set with really fun, bright colors and patterns. And the third is the chic set with also very fun, bright colors and patterns, but a little bit more muted and just a change in colors. The set we are going to be working with today is the assorted colors set. So these nice, bright, solid colors. Now on the back of each envelope, it says the cash envelope budget system. You write down the category, the amount you budgeted and the actual amount, and then you tuck the flap for added security. This system also comes with budget sheets. So as you spend money, you will write down the date, the description, the amount spent or added, and the balance, including the opening balance. This is double-sided, and this fits perfectly in this envelope as well. There are endless categories when it comes to how to set a cash envelope system. And there are 12 envelopes in each of these cash envelope budget systems to work with. So the idea is that you would start using cash for things that you spend money on regularly, and also you can use them for savings goals that you have. So the first one that we are going to use here is groceries, because everyone spends money on groceries. And then we will just go through and fill in these other categories. So dining out, gas, um, health and beauty, car maintenance, fun, because every budget needs fun, vacation, and this could be a savings goal until it's time to take the vacation. And then that is the spending envelope where you would pull the money from as you're on vacation. Then we have Christmas, the same type of thing where you will use this envelope to save. And then as it becomes the holiday season, you will pull from this envelope for the Christmas spending. Household, this can be used for things like cleaning supplies, toilet paper, paint, other household items that you might need. And then again, it's important to differentiate between some spending. So just like we separated groceries and dining out, I'm also going to add a category in here for coffee. Perhaps this is Starbucks or Dunkin' Donuts or another coffee place, but to give yourself a coffee budget for the month. And then the final one is also going to be a savings category. And this is going to be emergency fund. And this is a certain amount of dollars that you are comfortable to have saved in case an emergency happens, like there is a job loss or something like that. Now, we also want to pull out these budget sheets and I will share with you how we are going to use them. So first up, we are going to take this opening balance and let's use the coffee envelope. So to start, we are going to add $20 into this envelope. 
And so in this one, the opening balance will be $20. And as you go to a coffee shop, your favorite one, you'll write down the date, what you purchased, how much it cost, and your balance. So if it cost, let's say, February 15th, Starbucks, the amount was $11, the balance would then be $9, and you would have $9 left in this envelope. And this sheet is great to go right in here. Now, that is the coffee category. You could also write it down here so that you know what it is once it's open. And then you can write down at the end of each month in a review how much you budgeted versus how much was spent. And we would do the same thing for each of these. So groceries are where this is really helpful, especially the tracking part because in order to know how much to budget for groceries, you'll need to know how much you're spending. So by taking one of our budget sheets and putting this in here and writing down each time you are spending money on groceries, you'll be able to know how much needs to be budgeted each month. So we are going to have our grocery envelope. We are set with $100. And this can be something that you stuff monthly. It can be something that you stuff every time that you get paid. It, there's no specific rule. You have to do what works best for your life and your family and your financial goals. So we did 100 for groceries. I am going to do 50 for dining out and take a budgeting sheet and the opening balance is 50. Now, if this money was not spent, you could continue to add to it or at the end of the month, when you're doing your budget in review, there are other things that you can do with the leftover money. It can go towards a savings goal. Perhaps it will be used to put money into your emergency fund or a vacation fund or a Christmas fund, things like that, or you could use it to work on paying off debt or student loans. Whatever your financial goals are, that should be where any extra money is used towards. So household, let's put $40 into the household fund. We are going to take the opening balance and put 40. And of course, these numbers are personal. They are going to vary based on how many people live in your household, perhaps based on the age and ages of those in your household, where you live and the way you spend your money. So this is to show you how to do this, but the numbers are up to you. Okay, Christmas. Christmas is a sinking fund, which means Christmas is going to come around every year. We know it's going to happen and it's important to start saving for it as soon as you can so that once it comes, you can stay on track financially because you know you have already set aside this money for the holiday. I like to think of these types of saving goals, Christmas, car maintenance, maybe a subscription renewal as gift cards. You are giving yourself a gift card for these separate areas of your life. So once Christmas comes and you have this envelope all stuffed and filled out, you know that this is your Christmas gift card. This is the money you have set aside for this holiday. Okay, vacation. Let Vacations are expensive. Let's put $200 into a vacation fund because we are starting from scratch over here. But let's say we were not starting from scratch and we were already on vacation. These envelopes are small enough that they could go into your purse and depending on the size of your wallet, even your wallet, and using this tracker, as you spend money or add to it, so as you withdraw from the envelope or add to it, so you know exactly where your money went. And when you tell your money where to go, using envelopes like these, you'll never wonder where your money went because it'll all be written down right here. You won't ever be in a position again where it's the end of the month, bills are due, 
and you don't know where all of your money went because it's all being tracked right here. And that's just one of the many benefits when it comes to a cash envelope system. Another thing is car maintenance. Car maintenance happens. If you have a car, there are going to be tire needs. You might have an engine issue. There are definitely things that you're going to need to spend money on. And so having a category of envelope set aside specifically for car maintenance is really important because when that time unfortunately does come, you will be more prepared. Now, one of the important things to note about when it comes to cash envelopes is a rule. And the rule is you do not borrow from envelopes. So health and beauty, let's write this one down. And let's say that I have put aside $40 in my health and beauty envelope and I get to the store and there's more that I want to buy than I have budgeted for. So it will cost me more than $40. If you have your grocery envelope with you, don't take from your grocery envelope to put into your health and beauty one because you're going to go outside of budget. The idea is to stick within these envelopes and with a little bit of practice and discipline, your budgeting and financial goals will happen because you've created these systems for yourself and you have stuck with them. Okay, so we have two more that we, well, three more that we are going to stuff here. So let's take gas. Gas is a bit expensive right now. So let's put $50 into the gas envelope. Let's put $60 into the fun envelope and the emergency fund. We are going to put one, two, three, four, five hundred dollars into the emergency fund envelope so that we are better prepared once an emergency happens. So like I mentioned, you can put these envelopes in your purse or wallet, or what I personally like to do is I don't bring them all with me every time I leave the house. I will decide what will I need? Am I going out? I'll need fun. Maybe I will need gas, and if I am going to a restaurant, then I will need the dining out envelope. And so this way, by only bringing the envelopes that you need, and you can put them in this organizer right here, you are not going to be tempted to borrow from some of the other envelopes if they are not even with you. That is the basic step of setting up a cash envelope system and using our budget sheets to track them. Now, this piece also comes in the budget system because you can write down all the categories and know that if it is February, all those categories that we wrote down, you would go ahead and fill in here. So for health and beauty, we put in 40, and this is being added in February and then you'll know how much more you're going to be adding and just have this as a place to track. And again, this fits right here in this sleeve. So these are the cash envelopes. And then we also, again, have the jazzy set right here, depending on your personality. Maybe you are feeling a little bit jazzy. And we also have the chic set. So. If you are not already subscribed to our channel, please do take a moment to like this video and subscribe and make sure you turn on the notification bell so you can be notified when we have more videos going up. All of these supplies are available over at cleverfoxplanner.com. Thank you so much for watching and we will see you soon.